Welcome to Hills and Dales. In this lesson, I'm learning to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. Now, in this lesson, we're going to imagine that hills, these things here, are positive numbers, and holes or dales are these things down here, and they are negative numbers. Let's start uh, with a question which is similar to the ones we did in our last lesson. Uh, 3 plus negative 2, and we want to find out what that equals. Well, first of all, let's uh, draw a wee picture to show what that looks like. I've got three hills, 1, 2, 3, and you can see here I've got two dales, or two holes. Now you can see looking at this picture here that I can use some of these hills to fill in these holes. I could put this hole in there, this hill in that hole rather, so that would get rid of that hill and get rid of that hole. And I could put this hill in that hole and that would get rid of that hill and it would get rid of that hole. So it would leave me with one hill or one. So 3 plus negative 2 is 1. Let's have another question, look at another question. Let's do uh, negative 2 plus negative 4, and I want to work out what that equals. Well, we'll draw another picture to show what that looks like. I've got two holes or two dales, 1, 2, plus I've got 4 more, 1, 2, 3, Four. You can see that there's no hills here, so I can't fill in any of those holes. So how many holes have I got in total? I've got six. So my answer is negative six. And remember, it's a negative because these are holes, not hills. Now in our last lesson, we did quite a lot on uh, adding and adding negative numbers. So let's move on to some subtraction questions. Um, this time, we've got negative three, and we want to take away negative 2. So let's draw a picture to see what that looks like. Well, you can see here it says that I have got negative 3 or 3 dales or 3 holes. But this is where it's a little bit different. You can see this time I'm taking away. I'm not adding on anything. So the question says I need to take away negative 2 or take away 2 dales. So I could take away that dale, and I could take away that dale, and that'll just leave me with one dale, or negative one. Let's have a look at a question which is very similar to that. Uh, this time I've got negative three, and I'm going to add two. Well, just like last time I'll draw my picture. You can see it starts off the same. I've got three dales, one, two, and three. But this time, the question says I have to add two hills. So I'll put my two hills in here. One, two. And you know that I can use my hills to fill in my dales. That would get rid of that hill and that dale. And I could put this hill and that dale, and they would cancel each other out as well. So all that would be left is this one dale. So my answer is negative one. So notice how um, negative 3 minus negative 2 equaled ne negative 1, and how uh, negative 3 plus 2 also equaled negative 1. So we could say that subtracting negative 2 did the same as just adding 2. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got negative 2, and I need to take away 3. I'll draw a picture of that. I've got negative 2, which means I've got 2 dales. And now the question says I need to take away 3 hills. And I know they're hills because uh, if we were talking about dales, the last bit would have looked like that. It would have been a negative 3. So I need to take away 3 hills. Now you can see the problem here is is that there are no hills here. 
I'm going to start by just imagining where those hills might have been. There might have been one hill there. It would have been nice if there was one hill here, and it would have been nice if there was one hill here. Now the truck driver has been told that he needs to take away three hills, so he needs that much dirt to go in his truck. Well the only way he can do that is he was expecting to take away a hill's worth of dirt here, but there's no hills, so to get that amount of dirt, he's going to have to dig a hole. Here he was expecting to take away another uh, mound of dirt or hill of dirt, and the only way he's going to get that amount of dirt is by digging another hole. And here, he was also expecting another hill, but it's not there, so to get that amount of dirt, he's going to have to dig another hole. So you can see here that negative 2 minus 3 has meant that we have ended up with 5 dales, or negative 5. Now let's just have another or look at a question which is very similar to that. Uh, negative 2 plus negative 3. Um, I'll draw out what that looks like. It says that I've got two dales, so I'll draw those in. But this time the question says I have to add three more dales, so I'll draw those in. One, two, three. Now you can see that in total I've now got five dales, so the answer to negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. So notice how over here we had negative 2 <coughs> minus 3 and that equaled negative 5. And over here we had negative 2 plus negative 3 and that also equaled negative 5. So if we start at negative 2 and minus 3 or we start at negative 2 and we add a negative 3 we still get the same result. Now I know we've gone through these uh, quite quickly, but there is a bit of a rule we can look at now. If this is my number line with a zero here and negative one, negative two, carrying on in that direction and one, two, etc., going in that direction, when I'm adding and subtracting with negative numbers, I'm gonna head in that direction if I subtract a negative, or if I add a positive. And I'm going to head in this direction here if I subtract a positive, or I add a negative. It might help you to remember them if you notice that both of these are the same, subtracting a negative, and both of these are the same, so we're heading right, and over here, these are different from each other, subtracting a positive, and these are different from each other, adding a negative. I know we've zapped through this lesson pretty quickly, um, but there is a good PowerPoint on this at teachertools.co.nz.